Hello friends, I am here Kripa Shankar once again with you. We would like to inform you that the content on studentsrunway.com is exclusively compiled for distribution solely on studentsrunway.com. You may use the content for personal learning or pass it on to your friends, but please do not use it for any commercial or institutional use without acquiring prior authorization. Any tampering of watermarks of studentsrunway.com or Krupa coaching is liable for legal action. This is Krupa signing off. Thank you very much. All the best. Hello friends, I am Krupa Shankar again with you and we are now looking at the picture of a bib. B -I -B. A bib is an apron. A bib basically means an apron like cloth or plastic napkin tied under the child's chin at meals. So a bib is an apron uh, it can be called a face cloth or a chin wiper. These people are drinking bibulous. They are bibulous. B i b u l o u s. Bibulous. Bibulous means addicted to or fond of alcoholic drinks. Bibulous can simply mean drunk. Drunk. D r u n k. Intoxicated. I N T O X I C A T E D intoxicated, inebriated, I N E B R I A T E D inebriated, drunken, tipsy, T I P S Y. Tipsy means uh, drunken, somewhat drunk and unsteady, fuddled. Tipsy can also mean something that's not steady. So inebriated, intoxicated and drunk. These are breech loading uh, and uh, muzzle loading cannons basically. Cannons. C A N N O N. A cannon is a large mounted piece of artillery. A R T I L L E R Y. Artillery is the gunnery. A gunnery, G U N N E R Y. Apparatus as uh, catapults or arbalests. You remember we came across the word arbalest earlier? Arbalest is a crossbow which can be used to throw bolts or arrows or even stones. So a cannon is a gun of a very large caliber and it's uh, mounted on wheels and uh, these are called cannons. And cannons are also of course the word is ordnance, O-R-D-N-A-N-C-E, O-R-D-N-A-N-C-E. Ordnance basically cannon or artillery or in a general sense ordnance means all military weapons together with ammunition, combat vehicles and the equipment and supplies used. All these things are called ordnance. So these are uh, actually uh, muzzle loading guns, uh, guns M-U-Z-Z-L-E, muzzle. Muzzle is the projecting the front part of the uh, cannon through which the uh, cannonballs are loaded and then they are fired. These uh, girls are wearing breeches, B R E E C H E S. Breeches are uh, trousers reaching just below the knees and often tapered to fit closely. Taper, T A P E R, taper means to narrow. T A P E R, tapering means gradual decrease in width or thickness. So, gradual decrease is tapering, conical. Uh, and taper actually has one more meaning. The word taper also means a long wax candle, slender one used in churches. So this is another picture of breeches, policemen wearing breeches. And you can see they are having also galoshes. G-A-L-O-S-H. A galosh is a gumboot. A galosh is a heavy boot or gumboot and overshoe. overshoe and uh, these chaps are also having holsters on their hips. A holster is a case for carrying pistols. Uh, this is simply the picture of a brig. B -R -I -G. A brig is a two-masted ship with uh, square rigged ra sails. Square rigged. R-I-G-G-E-D. Now rigging. R-I-G-G-I-N-G. Now rigging means the ropes, the chains and other gear used to support position and control the mast, the sail, 
etc this is so rigging means the complete equipment or gear the apparatus uh, which is which includes the sail the mast and uh, all the ropes and all that now mast m a s t mast is the tall spar s p a r or a hollow metal structure sometimes uh, and it is uh, it is uh, the, the tall pole or the tall spar and uh, which uh, rises vertically from the deck of the vessel and is used to support the sails that's the spar the spar is the pole the post it could be simply timber or maybe a metal pole a metal column so mast sail and roping the whole thing together is called rigging r i g g i n g of course you know the other meaning for the word rigging rigging an election would mean alter the result by fraud this is the picture of a brigand b r i g a n d a brigand is a bandit usually uh, a roving bandit r o v i n g roving means traveling wandering wayfaring uh, rambling around changeable itinerant i t e n i t i t i sorry i t i n e r e n t itinerant means traveling from place to place on a circuit itinerant means wandering roving uh, nomadic vagrant migratory peripatetic p e r i p a t e t i c peripatetic means moving from place to place walking about itinerant so a brigand is a roving bandit he is never in one place a highwayman highwayman a robber a raider this is another picture of a brigand who is running away with the booty b o o t y booty means the loot loot taken from the enemy the spoils of war or booty can simply mean anything that is seized by force or robbery something that is plundered the spoils the loot the stolen goods ill gotten gains so after pillaging p i l l a g pillage means to rob plunder loot so booty suggests the property taken by a band or gang to be divided among the members whereas spoils refers to any property or territory that has been robbed taken in war by the conqueror so that is booty spoils broadly they are all synonyms pillage suggests violence and destructiveness in the taking of spoils that is plundering and looting and destroying everything else all oh, this is a cartoon of fire and brimstone now a synonym for hell is fire and brimstone b r i m b r i m s t o n e brimstone actually means sulfur the original word the root if you go into it is burn stone so brimstone means stone that burns so burn stone is sulfur so brimstone means sulfur and fire and brimstone is a phrase that describes hell the underworld inferno i n f e r n o inferno means a massive fire it also means hell place of departed spirits the lower world infernal regions hades h a d e and abode of the dead perdition p e r d i t i o n perdition means complete and irreparable loss uh, especially the loss of the soul damnation hell so damnation d a m n a t i o n damnation means a damning or being uh, damned of course damnation means uh, hell so uh, a, a name for hell is fire and brimstone and also uh, other words which we already discussed abode of the dead abode of the damned perdition purgatory p u r g a t o r y hell fire the lake of the lake of fire and brimstone Hello friends Kripa Shankar here again with you we thank you for your interest in kripa coaching and studentsonway.com if you find our content useful please like us on facebook follow us on twitter and uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and hope we hope you give us a plus 1 on google you could also subscribe to our email list and be notified upon new updates Thank you. This is Krupa Shankar signing off. Good luck.